is my, um, I believe it's a um, KASMHT. I talked about it once before. Um, it's sort of a string voyage. They come with titanium deodarios. I didn't care for them. Seem tight. Uh, I put on, I had heard one review. Now, this is the new one. They had the same um, model number on an older one that has an open head stock and fancy uh, uh, fret markers and such, but it's all solid mahogany and so is this. Um, so I put on, uh, I had seen one review of this and they had on, I guess from the factory, it might have even been in Britain, I'm not sure. And, and they had on uh, new Aquilas, you know, the original new Aquila. Um, and I wanted the low, the low string here. So uh, low G. So I, um, I bought them, put them on, they were black. And um, they were loud. Uh, but in the end, uh, and I've talked about this before with my issues with tenors. Something about the um, scale I find much harder to play than just one size down the concert. So, you know, that's just me. It is what it is. Um, I've had to work on the nut. I always have to work on the nut whether it's an inexpensive medium very expensive instrument they don't spend a lot of time on the nuts usually and this was high and i only realize how high it is because how much i had to lower this if you take a um well i'm taking this one right now if you put a capo on the first fret here and then play it If it's not a little easier to play, but a lot easier to play, that's telling you something about the height of the nut. Now, I'm not saying you take it as low as what that would be, um, but you know, you do the um, third fret. You can measure it, of course, but I do the third fret and then press, and uh, there's a little there yet, which is okay, a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit here, and just a little bit here. They're all this, pretty much the same now, um, but it's much better. Now, I changed them the strings again. I didn't keep those on a long time, those uh, new Aquila. And um, these are Martins. I don't know if I've ever tried Martins. Uh, on any of my ukes. Acoustics, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, as I put these on, I realized, well, these are thin. These are pretty thin, and they're, they're the, uh, the um, polys. And um, easier to play, finally. And um, not quite as loud, quieter, but pretty, prettier, I think. They're still breaking in. I just did it yesterday, and you have to keep retuning for a few days until they hold. But uh, there we are. Just wanted to update you to each his own. Everybody finds, um, you know, something different. Not everybody plays the same strings. Not, not everybody buys the same <laughs> ukulele brand and so on and so on and so forth. So take that for what it's worth. But uh, I think these are going to stay on here. Um, 
If you're going to try this yourself, you can buy um, an expensive uh, uh, nut files, even on the type on a ring where there's about, I don't know, 10 of them. I've had those. I'm, I'm not using that now, but uh, to get started, they're not aggressive. So you're not, you don't want to go too low because then you're in, you're in, you have a problem if those nuts, nut slots go too low. But as you go down, uh, make sure that your strings don't get buried in here. Um, they should be maybe half in and half out, which is about what this is. This could be filed a little bit more, but it's close. Uh, otherwise, they're going to get buried in the nut, and it's going to choke off your tone, your sustain. So make sure that you just go across with a file uh, as you're going, as you're um, gradually, and that's the key, gradually uh, filing down your nut slots. Okay, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.